Thomas Markle was told of estranged daughter Meghan's pregnancy before yesterday's official announcement, and said proudly, she will make a great mum. He was delighted at the news and is desperate to play a role in his grandchild's life, The Sun reports. Royals including the Queen and Prince Philip, Prince Charles, and Camilla, and Prince William and Kate, were told last week and quietly celebrated at Princess Eugenie's wedding. Yesterday's official announcement revealed Meghan's mum Doria Ragland also knew and was very happy, but the Kensington Palace statement made no mention of Thomas. The former Hollywood lighting director, 74, has not spoken to Meghan or Harry since the day after their wedding in May. And he is not thought to have learned of the pregnancy directly from Meghan. But a source close to him said, Thomas is absolutely delighted. He heard the news before it was made public and was overjoyed. He thinks Meghan will make a great mum as she is already so maternal. Thomas sees this as a chance to fix the problems between him, Meghan and Harry. He is desperate to be there for his grandchild and wants to play an active role in their life. After hearing the news, Thomas sent a text to inform his other daughter Samantha, Meghan's half-sister, who is on holiday in Ireland. Wheelchair-bound Samantha, who has multiple sclerosis, also hopes the impending birth will bring the family back together. She told the son, it just makes everything that happened over the last year disappear. I want Megan to be happy and calm and have peace. Everybody needs to be positive. I would hope that, for the sake of the baby, the family, the world and my dad, that leaving him out of the statement was not intentional. I hope my dad is included and at a proper time. If he is excluded, I won't be happy. It is in the best interests of the baby for my dad to be included. A baby changes everything and softens everyone. I would only hope that there would be some adjustment or some way of including him. Samantha went shopping yesterday to buy a congratulations card to send to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And while she hopes olive branches of reconciliation will be extended, she is also keen to protect her dad. She added, I think we all have to safeguard against any negative or hurt feelings and just work towards a positive joyous new life in the world. At a proper time. There should be a sit-down wherein everyone can address this properly. Everything has to work itself out. I want to allow Meg and Harry to bring my dad into it in their own appropriate time because they very well should do. Although I can still say I love my sister, I wasn't happy with the way my father was being treated. But, you know, we're also seeing now that there was a lot going on, there may have been a lot of stress. I'm not saying that's an excuse for not communicating with my dad, but maybe she wanted to wait until the exact right moment. I don't want Meg to feel any stress and I want my dad to feel happy and I think all things will come full circle. Meghan and Thomas's relationship came under the spotlight in the run-up to her wedding to Prince Harry, and he was accused of repeatedly embarrassing her. Days before the nuptials, it emerged Thomas staged photos of being measured for his wedding suit and reading a book on British history in return for cash from a paparazzi snapper. He then did not walk Meghan down the aisle after claims he was suffering heart problems. In June, Thomas appeared on Good Morning Britain and discussed his personal relationship with Meghan and her new husband. In July he told The Sun on Sunday he felt Meghan was terrified in her new role. He also told the Mail on Sunday she would be nothing without him, adding, I made her the Duchess she is today. Despite the divide, Thomas has since tried to contact Meghan through official channels, but has been ignored. Samantha insists his health is worse than Meghan realizes, losing 40 pounds and with breathing issues after his heart scare. She urged Meghan to be the loving woman I know she is. But she also believes Thomas's second wife Doria, Meghan's mom is behind his isolation. She added, she has a very domineering personality and I think she has been at the helm of Meghan's disregard. I don't feel she has any right to dominate the scene. And certainly not to reject, isolate, hurt and disrespect our father. And I'm surprised that Meg would allow it to happen. Meghan Markle's half-sister Samantha Markle was turned away from Kensington Palace, after travelling to the UK in an attempt to meet the Duchess of Sussex. 
pictures show M's Markle giving a letter to staff outside Kensington Palace, after reportedly being refused entry to the royal residence. M's Markle and her partner are seen with Meghan and Prince Harry masks from a souvenir stand following the deadlock outside Kensington Palace. The incident is the latest in an extraordinary public row between Meghan, her half-sister and their father Thomas Markle. A source said to the Mirror, the ongoing feud between Meghan, her sister and her father has so far been played out in public interviews and communication across the Atlantic via aides and representatives. This was a huge move on the part of Meghan's sister to try to see her face to face and the fact she was turned away speaks volumes. This is the closest Meghan has come physically to that side of her family since she married into the royal family but palace staff had clearly been instructed not to allow her access. The 53-year-old's trip to the residence comes weeks after Ms. Markle sent a letter to Kensington Palace warning that she would turn up if a meeting with Meghan was not arranged, the Mirror reported. Ms. Markle, who suffers from MS, has repeatedly criticized the former actress after she was not invited to Meghan and Harry's wedding in May. Ms. Markle previously said on Twitter, I am not candy-coating anything anymore. The Duchess should be humane to our father who has given her everything and this media crap can stop. He was the one who was always there for her. Fake waves and smiles can stop. The Dutch ass can bow to the daddy. But last Monday during her trip to the UK, Meghan's half-sister sensationally apologized to the Duchess live on television. Speaking on Jeremy Vine on 5, Ms Markle said she had traveled to the UK to end her feud with Meghan. Ms Markle said, I'm hoping that we can have a happy ending. Ms. Markle insisted she was driven to speak publicly when she was unable to contact Meghan privately. She said, My father, was being purposely ignored. We were hoping that private channels would be used. When they failed we went public. The goal at that point wasn't just getting closer. It was also about bringing out a very important point that you don't isolate family, you are a humanitarian. Ms. Markle said that the family were hurt when they were not invited to Meghan's wedding. She said, everybody was hurt at not being included or invited to the wedding. I felt as though it could have all been nipped in the bud had everyone been included and we all agreed to move forward with positive resolve and the hurt feelings wouldn't have snowballed. It doesn't mean we love you any less. I just think families can be this way when there's confusion and when people are hurt, so moving forward. I apologize and I wish things could be different. In the television appearance, Ms. Markle admitted she was unlikely to meet Meghan in the UK. She said, I was hoping that maybe we would have the chance to speak, that she would know I was here. But I don't think that's going to happen. But since her interview with Jeremy Vine, Ms. Markle has continued to attack Meghan on Twitter. Meghan Markle's father Thomas has received violent death threats from a close female friend's ex-boyfriend who terrorized the female, forcing them to move to a safe house after the abuse escalated. Meghan Markle's father received death threats from the former boyfriend of one of his closest female friends. The suspect allegedly drove past Mr. Markle's house in Rosarito Beach, Mexico, and shouted, I'm going to kill you. You fat f asterisk asterisk. The suspect is reported to have also slashed Mr. Markle's ters. However, he denies the claims. Thomas Markle told the Mail on Sunday, The first time he threatened me was after I took opening bracket my friend and her daughter closing bracket for pizza and we were photographed by the paparazzi. He texted me saying, I will kick you, you fat f asterisk asterisk. I wrote back saying, you don't even know me, what's wrong with you? Why would you feel threatened by a 74-year-old man? He thought something sexual was going on between opening bracket her closing bracket and me but it's not. Opening bracket she closing bracket isn't my girlfriend. She hasn't hustled me for money. I've helped her financially so that she could get to a safe place to live with her daughter. The threats come as Thomas Markle continues to adapt to life in the public eye following his daughter's marriage to Prince Harry. 
the ex-boyfriend has reportedly carried out a campaign of terror against Mr. Markle's friend and her daughter. The incidents have been reported to the police as part of an eight-page document. The report reads, he grabbed me by the neck while twisting it, as if he was choking me and I have pictures of these aggressions. He spat on my face. He goes to my uncle's house, referring to Thomas Markle, and tells him that he is going to kill him because he is constantly hiding me and threatens and insults him. In an interview with the Mail on Sunday, the victim said, Tom has been nothing but a supportive friend. He's been a rock for me and my daughter and I'm sorry he's been dragged into this violent and abusive situation. My daughter calls Tom uncle. He's the most genuine and kind person I know and the most stable male figure my daughter has ever known. My ex-boyfriend is demanded. He has threatened to kill me and my daughter multiple times and has made multiple threats to Tom's life.